feeling any better? Well, same routine. Wonder Boy here thinks his hero days are over. And Phil thinks it's all in his head. Gorshirk, we know you're a hero. That's right. <laughs> Blunder Boy. How could you move on a momentous day like today? The Underdrome's back, and you are going to fill the stand. After all, your fans won't settle for anything less than a certified hero. I mean, if you're not up to it, you could always just, I don't know, lose. I bet you'd like that. Excuse me? Hey, I'm not a selfish guy. I'm not like those high and mighty snobs up on Olympus. I stand for the masses, and have I got a massive idea. The games, ladies and gentlemen, are back. Yours truly, Hades, the one and only Lord of the Dead, brings you the ultimate games to celebrate the reopening of the ultimate Colosseum. We'll finally answer the age-old question, who deserves the title Ultimate Hero? These games are going to settle the debate once and for all. The winner reigns supreme. Of what? You guessed it! The Hades Cup! And I assure you that the great Hercules will be there, otherwise... You'll never see your girlfriend again. Low life! <laughs> You're too kind, kid.
Okay, let's review. State your crime, prisoner. I exist. That is my crime. It is inexcusable. Oh, good. Very good. What's wrong with Orin? He's never acted that way before. Shh. Okay, so you made one lousy mistake. You exist. But hey, I'm a forgiving guy. You keep your end of our little deal, and I'm willing to overlook a transgression or two. I understand. Defeat Hercules. And his meddling friends. What? No. Only Hercules. Oh, don't tell me you've forgotten who's in charge. Him. He's using some kind of a statue. You know something? That sounds kind of familiar. Hmm. Hades may be using the statue to hold Orin's free will hostage. What do we do? See if you can find that statue. It's got to be somewhere in the underworld. Right. I'm on it. Tell me you're not thinking of leaving. You've got a match coming up. I'll fight Orin in the final. One on one. Oh, you will. Hmm. Alright. I'll draw things out to buy you time. What? Just hurry back. I know you can do Congratulations. it. Congratulations. You've got a deal. Thanks. On one condition. The Keyblader here and his trusty friends have to meet the winner in one final clash. What do you say? That'll drive the crowd wild. It better. I promised the crowd the event of their afterlives. <laughs> yeah, sucker. You know, for me, the rest is smooth sailing. <laughs>
in Orin's heart. Gorsh, he must have had a pretty rough life. Yeah, but in the end, that's really what made him stronger. Let's give him back! Nobodies? Where did they come from? But I'll take it. We better ski battle. This is my story. 
And you're not part of it. That's it! This game is over. Now, I've played by the rules so far. Okay, I confess. I was hoping Wonder Boy would lose, but it was still a fair fight. Come on. Is that really so wrong? Huh? Really? A <laughs> fair fight? <laughs> laugh, laugh, laugh all you want! Because <laughs> the laughing is about to stop. You want to know why? Because now we're going to play by my rules. the get-go. You don't compete, you lose the girl. No! Meg! Hang on! Looks like Wonder Woman has dropped out of the stand. Well, you've still got us to deal with. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is gonna be good. We can't win. Can't win! Because it's his underworld. Gee, then how do we beat him? I think a true hero should be able to help. But you... I owe you one, Hades. I didn't hesitate to give my life for Megs, and then I remembered. A true hero is measured by the strength of his heart. I'll never forget that again. Just no more crazy stunts. People always do crazy things when they're in love. <laughs> what is so funny, you imbeciles? How dare you get a happy ending? How dare you? <laughs> That's it. You will stop the crew. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thanks again, guys. You're the best. And still's us for meddling. Aww, oh, sounds like somebody's feathers are a little ruffled. I'm kidding. Thank you, Sora, Donald, Goofy. So where are you guys headed next? Uh, you know. You two lovebirds seem to be getting along just fine without us hanging around. Uh-huh. Before we start meddling. <laughs> yep. Right. Are you turkeys trying to put me out of a job? If you keep acing every challenge, champ, who am I going to train? Aw, oh, you can't abandon me now, Phil. I got to be at the top of my game in case Hades shows up again. Hey, I mean, cool. He was what? Yeah. Come on, Phil. How about it? Let me see now. Well, you're not wise enough. Not quite seasoned enough. Okay, okay, we get the hint. Look, kid, it's not my call. Ah, fool. Cause if it was, you'd have no problem. I'd make you all heroes in a heartbeat. Really? Say it again. On second thought, if those are your hero faces, you still got a lot of work to do. Hey, what do you mean? Go away! Phil! Leave me alone! See that? Well, what do you know?
way! <sighs> What's going on? Can't believe it! That stupid peddler let you far out of the lamp! Too far? <laughs> Give me the magic lamp, Aladdin! And now, street rats, I bid you farewell! Crush those urchins! <laughs> Gotta be a way. Ah, oh, come on, kid. That's an easy one. Ow, buddy, oh, pal. This is what having a genie for a best friend is all about. I mean, how can you leave me on the sidelines at a time like this? Lord, wow, Mel. The old Rasputin's. What do you say, kid? Hey, genie. Sora. Want to see a little something I call sandstorm sweep? Oh, Take it away, Genie. I look uh, You know, one lousy sandstorm is just too easy. Next time, eh, Al? Now what do we do? Climbing carpet.
too far. You sure this is it? Yeah, yeah. You gotta understand, it wasn't my idea. It was Jafar. He made me bring you here. You don't know him like I do. He can be very convincing. He said if I didn't cooperate, he was gonna... Where is he? Come on, now, you gotta forgive me. Where's Jafar? Well, uh, let's see. Right about now, he's probably attacking the palace. I had no choice. His eyes, they got all creepy and weird. Whatever. Iago, you're supposed to be our friend, but you've been playing both sides just to make sure you save yourself. I knew you were still a bad guy. I'm sorry! Some rest, Carpet. Warn you. Come on, let's get your far! And who asked you? The palace is through there. Hurry!
far, you'll get exactly what's coming to you. Indeed I will, princess. All of Agrabah will belong to me, while you... <laughs> you, my queen, shall weep at my side for all eternity. Oh, please. <laughs> right about now, your precious Aladdin is whispering your name with his last breath. Hmm? Ah, what was that you were saying, Jafar? You dare defy me, you useless bird! Iago! You'll all be joining him very soon!
with street rats. <laughs> you went mano a mano with Jafar and you didn't invite me, Al? Sorry, Genie. Things happen kind of fast. And I had some new moves to show off, too. Who's gonna fix Agrabah? Oh, yeah! One super duper spruced up Agrabah coming right up! You won't even recognize the place when I'm through with it. Just like it was, please. Really? Same old, same old. All right. Next time, let me put in a few swimming pools, okay? <sighs> I guess Agrabah's all right now. Yeah, thanks, guys. Hey, you behave yourself. Got it? I most definitely got it. No more looking out for number one. I'm reformed. I want to be a good friend like Genie, but I can't do anything to help you. What kind of a friend is that? Oh, no. It's not like that, Iago. Friends don't have to do stuff. As long as you have fun hanging out together, that's all that matters. So, what do you guys do for fun? We do Uh, that's not quite what I meant. Well, anyway... Gorsh, Iago. I hope you didn't hurt yourself. Well, <coughs> at least I can still fly. Whoa! 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 Ah! Was that my cue? Am I on? Come on, Al. Let me build a freeway or something. Uh, everything's fine. Don't panic. Genie, but I can't hold it any longer! Yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's good! <laughs> Sora, Donald, Goofy, you guys are too much. If you're ever in the mood for some more cosmic razzle-dazzle, give me a shout, okay? Well, you've done it again, Sora. Don't forget about us, okay? I won't. And Sora? About that friend of yours, the one you're looking for, you'll find him. Trust me.
there's nothing wrong with my design. It's flawless. There must be something wrong with the parts those imbeciles brought me. I need to find better assistants. Gentlemen, lend me a hand, won't you? These presents must belong to Sandy Claus, so I thought I'd better return them. You just happened to find them? Of course, Sora. I'm finished with Christmas fantasies, you know that. you hold on to this suit. What, this? It's just a costume. And Sally worked so very hard making it. Come on, we've got work to do. find these in Halloween town you'll be needing them for Christmas right Sandy of course but these are just a few of the Christmas presents that were stolen stolen oh Sandy you don't think it was me still wearing the outfit I see I just thought I'd dress for the occasion but, if you don't believe me, then we'll just have to find out who really did it. Very well, I'll leave it to you. All right, Sora, Donald, Goofy, we're off! This one? No! No way! Cow! 
So you three took them. Took what? You stole the presents, didn't you? It wasn't us. But... It really sounds like fun. Run, Run for it! it!
like it was such a nice present. Uh, Jack. Oh, help! Someone help me! My latest experiment is gone! It's been stolen!
care of the rest. Did you finish making the presents? Yep, just waiting for Jack. So, uh, where do you think we ought to leave them? Hmm. Oh, I know a good spot. Whenever you're ready, just say the word. I'm back. Should work well for your plan. Now, Jack, what is your plan? I've got it all figured out. You do? Of course. And I also have a wonderful idea. If we catch the thief for you, I would be honored to deliver the crew. And on that note, we'll be going. What are you doing? What are they doing? It's not me, Donald. Patience, friends. Shh. I found the world. Gorge, was that you? How come we have to be the bait? Good plan, eh? Ouch!
Dr. Finkelstein's experiment did it. Did you catch the thief? Naturally. I just can't figure out why the doctor's experiment would go around stealing Christmas presents. His experiment? The thief. It was a moving puppet made by Dr. Finkelstein. Hmm, the doctor has made a moving puppet. I see. He is always tinkering with things. Now listen, Jack. I'd like to thank you, and while delivering presents is something only I can do, I can give you an idea of what it's like. Sandy Claus? Yes, all that poor puppet wanted was a heart. Ho, ho, ho! Interesting. So the puppet wasn't stolen after all. It ran away on its own. In other words, my experiment was an overwhelming success. Santa Claus thinks maybe it left because it was trying to find a heart. That's quite possible. Unlike my Sally, it wasn't equipped with a heart. But if it wanted a heart... Why was it going around stealing all those Christmas presents? Maybe because presents are a way to give your heart to someone special. Hmm. When you put it that way, I feel sort of bad for it. understand. There's no box. No ribbon tied in a bow. Jack, it's not about the box or the ribbons. It's about what's inside the box. No, Sora. What really counts, what's really special, is the act of giving the gift to wish deep in your heart to make someone else happy. Right. Of course. Thank you, Sally. You're absolutely right. Wait. What's this? I feel so strange, so very happy. Jack, that must be Sally's present. Really? This wonderful feeling? 
Oh, Sally, you've given me the nicest present in the world, and I've nothing to give you in return. What would you like? Just name it. Absolutely anything. The nicest present I could ever ask for, Jack, is just to be with you. You don't even have to ask for that. Oh! Uh. Maybe I never gave her a real present after all. Oh, I bet Kyrie would like most anything you gave her. I know. That's what made it so hard to decide. It's not your gift, it's what's in your heart. My heart? You bet. Tell me that, Sally. How? Well, as long as she can be with you, what else does she need? of that higher stuff. Thanks to you clowns, we're back to scavenging scraps for a living. <laughs> Come on, it's not that bad. I enjoyed that weak dead elephant we had yesterday. Hey, how's Simba? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta laugh every time we hear that dude's name. <laughs> Ooh, say it again. Simba. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Simba! <laughs> Simba! <laughs> That's enough. Go on then. See for yourself. Simba is one wishy-washy king. Yeah, I bet about now even some of those high and mighty lionesses were wishing they'd gotten themselves a different king. Gorge, what do you think could have happened? Well, let's go find Simba and see. Scar? Huh? A ghost? We better tell Simba about this. Wonder if he's up there.
came back. Are you okay? You don't look so good. Hey, Simba, why don't we team up and do something about that Scar Ghost? Seems like everybody's worried about it. So now's your big chance to show them what you're really made of. That doesn't concern you. Sorry. It's okay. I just wish I knew what my father would do. But he's not here, Simba. It's all up to you now. And that means the important thing is what you're gonna do being the king, not what your father would have done. So you're saying it's all up to me? See? There you go. Hey, yep, yep, yep. Yep. We know your dad was a great king and all, but now it's your turn. Remember what I taught you. You gotta put the past behind you. It's time to go out there and show everybody things are gonna be just fine. Yeah, you can do it. You gotta live for today and find your own path. Live for today and find my own path. Not my father's. That's it. I'm glad to hear you say that, Simba. <laughs> Promise me you'll help Simba any way you can. As long as Sora handles a dangerous part. I'm counting on you, Simba. And so is our baby. <clears throat> Great, now we're gonna have to babysit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see Rafiki first. I'm sure he'll be able to tell us something about that ghost.
Just leave us alone. Do you three know anything about Scar's ghost? Huh? Scar's ghost? <laughs> Maybe. You do know. out around Freddy Cats. Right, Banzai? Enough! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Must be a Freddy Cat around here somewhere. Simba, do something! How does it feel to be king? Why, it be too inspiring, Banzai. After all, you are the son of the great Mufasa. Where are you going? Ah, uh, Simba, running away as always. Simba! Gosh, <laughs> <laughs> Rafiki was right. You mean Simba's still unsure? Seems like. Do you think there's some way we can help? Hmm. We should start by talking to Simba some more. 
Let's head back to the Pride Lands.
father. Hmm. It seems you and your daddy has abandoned your house. It's no use. I'll never be the king my father was. But Simba, that's not what you're supposed to be. You can't be Mufasa. You can only be you. Everybody believes in you as a king. They just want to see what you'll do. And if anyone's saying they liked your father better, it's because you haven't done much yet. That's all. I know that. Then stop moping and do something. I can't. Fine. Let's go, Shara. Yeah. Why stick around if he's not even gonna try? Come on, Goofy. <sighs> the hesitant king will one day lose all his friends. Worried by a silly old ghost. Ooh, Simba, the do-nothing king. No! Try and stop me. <sighs> you did it! The ghost is gone! We know you can do it! Hooray for Simba! You know, I'm really lucky to have friends who stand by me and help me see clearly. My father wasn't so fortunate. There you go again. I mean, everyone here and in the Pride Land wants me to succeed. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Pumba, Timon, Rafiki, Nala. You all want what's best for me. But my father always had Scar lurking behind his back, trying to cut him down. I've got to make the most of my blessings and rebuild this kingdom. Are you gonna say it or do it? Wait and see. Simba! <laughs> Simba, come quick! There's a bazillion ghosts of Scar haunting the Pride Lands. Everybody but Nala hightailed it out of there. And now she needs your help! Uh, our little Simba, all grown up and finding his place in the world. Nice try. You're coming too. I've come back, Nala. Get out. Way to go, Simba! Are you with me? Now and forever, your majesty.
Simba seems fine now. Ha! The king has returned. The Pride Lands will not forget King Simba's courage, or the courage of those who fought beside him. Do you think your quest will ever be over? I don't know. But I think, as long as the Keyblade stays with me, I'll have to keep fighting. Ah, the struggle never ends. That is the great circle of life. Never ever? The secret to victory is a strong heart. Go on, go on, go, go then! <laughs> go on, get out! Yes, yes, it is time! Your fight continues! Till we meet again, Your Majesty. I hope that's soon. It will be. So long. Wait a sec. I thought everything was supposed to be under control here. Must be Organization 13 again. We better go see Leon. Thank <laughs> you. 
He went on over to Ansem's study to find out what all the ruckus was about. computer to crank out Heartless. The MCP's been messing around with the town's control system, too.
liars. What? Leon doesn't have any treasure. And we fought for you guys. Donald. Well, I had to kill him something. I don't see how we're going to work this out. So what should we do? Why do you think they want to trick us like that? They worked so hard to have them out. We got some total. It's not fair. They'll just take responsibility for what they did. I don't know. Okay. Be great. Good call. Okay, it's go time. We're just going to take your treasure. But we don't have anything. You sure? Hmm. Let's take a look. Decided. The Gullwings are taking all your items. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, Foofy. This stinks. So not cool. Look, sorry we tricked you, but... Forget about it. Leon told us the whole story. He said your journey has been pretty rough. So it wouldn't really be right if we took your things. We'll root for you. Here, this is from us. Bye, good luck on your journey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
We'll be there soon, Tron. Okay. Me too. Let's head for the game grid. Great. The terminal works. Let's go.
Finished? Would be, the word for the old loon's magic. Old loon, you say? I'm trying to work here. <laughs> I'll show you who's old. Done. There you go, Leon. One homemade program. A loony wizard special. This had better work. I'm off. Be on your guard.
Control is terminated indefinitely. Uh, no good. Leon, let me try. This is your final warning. Stop at once. Bon appetit. Don't talk with your mouth full. What? What are you loading? Nothing's come in yet. Leon! Come on! There. All right! What's it like? 
This is very strange. That's William Spy Trek. Huh? There's a power booster for me. And flight routines for the solar sailor. Meaning we're set? Well, like you users say, we won't know till we give it a try. We'll need a sailor to reach the MCP, so let's get to the simulation hangar. to keep a lookout. The MCP isn't going to just let us waltz in.
The MCP is straight ahead. Time to settle things for good. Who is that? Sark, the MCP's number two. Tenacious little bugs, your time is up. Prepare for de-resolution. <laughs> You're very persistent, Tron. I'm also better than you. Uh, we would have made a great team. Now for the MCP. This thing is the MCP? That's it. Ugly, isn't it? Tron, don't you understand? We don't need users. We've advanced. They're superfluous. Be a part of me, and together the world will be ours to control. MCP, you still don't get it, do you? Shark! Oh my country! 
possessions are now yours.
Running executable. Eliminate all threats. Yeah. 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 Access approved. Back in the game. Back on. Running I see Tron has a silly side, too. I learned it from you. Of course, I do have my silly limits. Okay, then I'll tweak your program when I get back to the user world. You? Maybe we better not try that. Aw, oh, how about it, guys? Singing Tron? Dancing Tron. Sound good? <laughs> okay, okay, fine. But before I crash... Sora, Donald, Goofy, and all the users out there, thank you. You really helped me. You made me so much stronger. You taught me what friendship is truly all about. And I'll never forget it. As soon as I met you, I knew we were going to defeat the MCP and free the system. Isn't this what users do when they're sorry to say goodbye? Uh, it's a first for me. Gorge, Tron, it's like a promise that we'll see each other again real soon. Okay, well then. left anywhere the local variety and it looks like there are fewer than before now if we can just get those three back in one piece you're here welcome back how's the town a-okay not a single trace of the MCP either everything's back to normal we made it. Hey, why the long face? What happened? Tron just disappeared. And he promised we'd see him again. What's happening? Greetings, friends. System is up and ready for user input. Tron! Tron! Stay in touch. Yeah. And bring up Tron! Hey, stop that. It tickles. Tron is ticklish? How about this? Please stop that! <laughs> <laughs> I think Tron's been hanging around those guys too much. Wait, wait, just a moment. I want to show you something I dug up from the system archives. You can see the town back when it was first built.
That's right. I remember now. Just like the old days. Hmm. I'd be fascinated to ascertain as to when the town got such a dreadful name as Hollow Bastion. Should be ski daddling out of here. Why? Why? Because it's Wednesday, of course. Wednesday? Oh, well then, happy Wednesday. Now, I think I shall wish everyone a happy Wednesday. No bother. Let's see now. Who is everyone? Who's here? Oh, help! Help! Somebody save me! Piglet! Sora! Help, please! Hold on, little guy! Okay. 
I shall call you my friend Piglet, who is very brave. Me? Very brave? No, but it's easy to be brave when I have a wonderful friend like you, Pooh Bear. I'm happy for you guys. Oh, and thank you for rescuing my friend Piglet, somebody I don't know. Oh, uh, sure, don't mention it. your house you are oh hello there piglet thanks for offering wouldn't want to spoil your fun day though well hello piglet and hello somebody i don't know boo this is eeyore you know eeyore don't you um i do 
What could have happened to him? Oh, I have an idea. Maybe Pooh's tummy is so rumbly that it's making him forget. If we bring him some honey, he's sure to remember. Well, uh, I guess it's worth a try. Might work, but probably not. First, we gotta find some honey. If honey's what you're looking for, I know just the place. Follow me. This is the place I told you about. Wow, look at that. How yummy for my tummy. But doesn't that honey belong to someone?
your lips to the That's your gophers, the name. Oh, no. Thank you very much for your as much as you'd like. Why, thank you. Pardon me, kind somebody, but do you know where I might find another smackerel or two of honey? Oh. Oh. <laughs> My tummy seems to be telling me there's some honey right in there. He still doesn't remember. What in the world has gotten into Pooh Bear? Whatever it is, we better help him. Oh, yes, and quickly, too. Oh, stuff and fluff. One, two, three! You're okay now, Pooh. Well, I wouldn't be so sure of that if I were you. Why? Just, just look at him. He doesn't even remember who I am. <gasps> Perhaps it's all this blustery wind, or, or maybe he actually needs more honey, or he's, he's sleepwalking and, and dreaming. Well, if I am dreaming, which I suppose I could be, I hope that I get to the part where you invite me to lunch again very soon, Rabbit. That's right. You're always stopping by for lunch. <gasps> Wait. Who? You call me Rabbit. Well, of course, Rabbit. What about Eeyore? And do, do you remember Eeyore too, Pooh? Oh, hello there, Eeyore. It's ever so nice to see you today. Thanks for noticing me, Pooh Bear. And hello to you too, somebody I don't know. <sighs> well, at least you remember Rabbit and Eeyore now. I don't know. Eeyore told me Pooh wasn't quite himself. I thought this might be just what the poor dear needed. Yeah, I hope it'll make Pooh better. Tears are wonderful things. The top of the middle of river, the bottom of the middle of springs. <laughs> A present for me? <laughs> Why, presents are what Tiggers like best, and it's not even my birthday. <laughs> But Tigger, that's not for you. Wait, Tigger! Oh dear. Come on, let's go after him.
Buddy Bear. Well, I remember that bouncing always makes me hungry. All that bouncing and he still doesn't remember me. Well, then I guess bouncing's not the answer. It makes a tigger almost never want to bounce again. <laughs> oh, please be careful with that. Oh, sorry, little piglet. But Pooh not remembering me has me confused. I don't even feel like bouncing. No, oh, but Tigger, I always thought that bouncing was what Tiggers did best. Pooh boy, you remember me. You do remember your old buddy Tigger after all. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> remember tomorrow.
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, right yes. Here. Sora. you are. Hey, we looked everywhere for you. I was looking for a very dear friend that I remember I made a very important promise to. So, did you find him? No, I looked and looked, but he doesn't seem to be anywhere. Oh, Pooh Boy, so uh, there you are. But Tigger, did you have to bounce me so bouncily? Gosh, I thought a jaguar had gotten you. Oh, dear. I hadn't thought of that. I do hope a jaguar hasn't gone and gobbled up my friend. Now try to remember, Pooh. Isn't Sora the one you're looking for? Oh, the jaguar. No, it's just your tummy grumbling. You must be hungry. Come on, let's head home and see if we can find you some honey. I'd like that, Sora. Pooh, you, you finally remembered. Remembered what, Sora? Pooh. I like it ever so much when you're cheerful, Sora. Hmm, <laughs> me too, Pooh. Oh, there's a bit of a rumbly in my tumbly. All right, then let's go home. are you doing here? I was thinking, perhaps there's a way to make it so you won't go away. You mean a way to make me stay? Yes. Would there be such a thing as a way to make it so you don't go away again? Pooh. Don't worry. I promise I'll come back and visit you now and then. Could you make it now and now instead? That seems a bit better to me. Sora, if I go looking for you, will I find you? 
I'll always be with you, right here. You don't have to go anywhere. Just stay here, and you can see me anytime you want. You mean I just have to stay right here? Yep, that's all. Would you promise? Promise. I promise, too. And so do Rue and I. We sure do. You're welcome to visit us anytime, Sora. Thanks. After all, I must tell you of my Uncle Albert's adventures at sea. Guess you'll be staying a while. <laughs> Goodbye, Sora. Thanks, Gopher. If you ever get lonely, just start bouncing and think of your pal, Tigger. I will, Tigger. You're leaving? Yes, I really have to go. Well, I won't be sad, because you'll always be right here forever and ever. Right, Sora? And all of you are right here, too. See ya.
is always greener in somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there, but that is a big mystery. Just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things around you. What more is you looking for? Under the sea. Under the sea. Darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. The shore they work all day Out in the sun they slave away While we devoted full time They floated under the sea Time, but with a human! Ariel's in love with a human? <laughs> oh, me and my big mouth! If this is the only way... 
intrude any longer. I'll be on my way. You obviously don't want my help. Too bad about your prince, though. He is quite a cat. Wait! All I have to do is sign? Here you go! Ariel, don't! Sora, please! You've got to stop her, man! Wait! Oh. Ah. Are you the girl? Please wake up. Whoa! Easy there. What's wrong? You can't speak? Oh, well, where did you come from? That's my pendant. I, I 
can't believe you found it. Thank you. Please, come with me. I want to help you. Sebastian. Uh, oh, uh, well, King Triton wanted him at the palace. I wonder if it's about Ariel. If King Triton finds out what happened, we're in hot water. Especially since we kept it a secret. What about Ursula? She disappeared. Well, how's Ariel doing? She's only got until sunset tomorrow, right? Hey, look! Oh. so close. Well, I think we ought to get back to looking for Ursula. Yeah, good idea. <sighs> no sign of Ursula anywhere. I wonder where that sea witch could have gone. Ah. Ariel's been crying for a long time. What would I give to live where you are? What would I pay to stay here beside you? What would I do to see you smiling at me? Where would we walk? Where would we run? If we could hey, stay what's up with all the day in the sun? Look, there! Just you and me. And I could be... It's Ursula! She, she must have turned herself into that girl! Okay, that's it. Sorry I didn't figure it out sooner. You're the one I love. Eric. Not so fast! <gasps> Do you see what I see? <laughs> You're too late!
Stay out of this, you fools. Titan's precious little daughter signed a contract. Now, dearie, let's see how beautiful you are when I'm through with you. That contract's no good. Let her go! Excuse me? Now, now. Even the great King Triton can't go round breaking binding contracts. Why, it just wouldn't do, would it? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some loose ends to tie up. Wait, Ursula. You win. Just promise you'll let my daughter go. But we had a deal. Unless, of course, you're offering to take her place. I'm afraid I have no choice. Seas now! You... you monster! Let him go! Ah! Eric! How dare you! Pitiful, insignificant human! Hey, that's enough! She's back to bring her wrath upon the sea. Triton can't be ready, not that easily. And like all who dare defy me, he will learn his lesson well. Never toy with a girl like me. You got what you deserve. Flotsam and Jetsam. Royal darling, strong as the tide. Skaters, poopsies, hasten to my side right now. your precious mermaid. Now you're crazy with revenge. I suppose I sympathize. I'm not gonna lose her! Right. We're with you all the way. Flotsam and Jetsam! Royal time! Strong as the tide. Sweet as poopsies hasten to my side right now. I need you smash those stupid fools! Make them This is not the end, my dears, I swear I've just begun. It's not over until our summer has won! That's what you think! It's not possible. 
It's over, Ursula. That belongs to me! All right, then. You can have it! Please, Ariel. You can come out now. It's okay. Ariel? to Ursula. This can't be. I would have told you sooner. To think. Eric, goodbye. I had all that time and I didn't work on my swimming. Huh? Well, I guess it's never too late to learn, right? Will you teach me? Oh, I'd love to. All right! I'm so happy for you. 
happening? A new pathway is opened. What? You gonna go? This is goodbye? I won't do it. We'll never say goodbye. That's right. One, two, three, four. Even though we're hitting the road, our words are all connected. All connected. Which means we, we are free to come and go. go. And said that. So don't be sad and always know we'll come back soon to say hello.